Hey everyone, it's Zach with Counter Research. A new New York Times article just came out on the continuing tensions and fervor against China when it comes to AI. And they specifically name Alex Karpis while in the article, interviewing Jacob Helberg too, a senior policy advisor for Palantir in this article. Now, for the headline alone, we already know where this is going, at least direction-wise. Basically, AI leaders such as Palantir and many others will be meeting up on May 1st to figure out what to do in regards to competing with China and AI, as well as the move to ban TikTok as well, which is talked about. This is being seen as a new Cold War where we are technically not at war, but obviously this competition not only has to deal with commercial, but also intelligence and cultural aspects that can hurt or help either of our countries. And we already know that boat here that Cogs Carp is in in respects to this conversation. For those who have been following the company for a while here it's pretty obvious now generally for this upcoming meeting it is being seen as a way to continue lobbying against ai regulation although alice carp has been on the other camp here saying ai needs to be regulated but of course some balance of ensuring innovation is still there for research and development but also interestingly on the agenda is possible relaxation for immigration restrictions to bring in more ai experts and before people get their panties in a bunch this is referring to legal immigration and this is narrative continues to persist for anti trevor fervor which some may or may not think is warranted but it's not a huge stretch to know they'll do what's best for their own control and power as a government. So why wouldn't the U.S. do the same at least to defend against that? But regardless, there are still risks to just all-out pursuit of AI development and how we could kill jobs quickly, spreading disinformation, as well as election disruption as they note here. But either way, I think what Palantir investors are more interested in is what does this mean or why does it even matter? Well, CARP being a participant and Palantir having a seat at the table is always a plus. If you're supposed to be the next best thing, then it still takes some recognition from outsiders, which seems to be the case here. And therefore, you are looked at as an expert or at least someone who has an actual implication on AI for the country. And when it comes to Palantir's products and continued development, we see this as a common theme of China's usage and goals with AI, especially for internal surveillance versus Palantir's interest in creating an AI infrastructure that tries to leverage the value of AI without needing to just get all out access here and invading privacy to get every single detail. We've heard this many times before that Palantir has developed their products in such a way that you're at the edge of information and you're not just fed all of it easily like say in China where you just get access to it all, but rather you're pulling together what you're allowed to and even within said solution, this can vary between different accesses for the other users. So the sophistication here needed for their products to deal with this comes in handy, and of course over time it has developed into what they have today. Now in the longer run, if we actually get policy that helps Palantir from these and continued meetings, we don't know for sure. But them being able to give their two cents and having the recognition at least as a top player in AI increases these chances. Getting some level of risk off the table when you're in the conversation is immensely valuable when we are so early in the conversation around policy that can really determine the trajectory of AI for the country and its development. But what are your thoughts though on Pouncher's continued participation with the US government on AI? Let me know below and I'll see you in the next video.